Okay, so you started at 15. You, you did your thing, but then at 25, you ended up just leaving the industry altogether. Yes. What was like the final straw that made you say, forget rap, even though you had such a high degree of success, especially at the time when hip hop was still so new? Um, the reason why by that time I was already done was because I had never gotten a royalty check. So one day I was having a conversation with some other artists and it was like, yeah, well, you know, we get these royalty checks. And I'm like, what? What are those? And they were like, all the records that you've sold and you don't have, you never got a royalty check. And I was like, no. And then I went to the record company and I was like, hey, uh, what about my royalties? They was like, oh, you go ask them. And then I go and the next week, hey, hey, what about my royalties? Oh, no, go ask them. And then I go, hey, listen, what happened? What's, what about the royalties? And they was like, oh, listen, um, well, because you were underage, we gave some money to your mother. We gave some money to such and such. Uh, you weren't supposed to get this. Um, this wasn't registered. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm good. I'm done. So you got robbed, basically. You got yeah, robbed. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, listen, because it's hard to go and tell your manager that your record company is doing you dirty when your manager is your record company. And then it's hard to tell him that when uh, the brother is your accountant and the best friend is your lawyer. And so you, you go and you tell them, but then all they do is laugh amongst each other. Like, yeah, listen, you knew one day she was gonna ask, you know? And so that was the case. And then I just backed away and I started taking care of my paperwork, started taking care of my publishing and my writers. And then, you know, um, God just made it where, regards to what they stole then, is nowhere near what I make now or what I've made now, you know? Like people say, well, don't you wish you would have gotten it all then? And I'm like, no, because I probably, if they would have paid me then, I might have had enough money to get high. And since I couldn't afford to get high, <laughs> and I couldn't afford to drink, and I couldn't afford to splurge, it allowed me to have a certain humbleness about myself. I stayed uh, very grounded. So then, now, I'm in a better position as an artist, as a person, um, to appreciate the finances I have now than if I would have had them then. So I think it was okay. it was almost like God's way of putting it in the bank and then allowing to make sure that I got it and then some. Okay, now you mentioned in an interview, I think with Jezebel, that you felt that Marley Marl took advantage of you? Um, I don't wanna just say Marley Marl in general. If I said anything about Marley, I love Marley and Marley will always be my brother. Was I a little hurt? Absolutely. I was hurt because when he found out what the record company was doing, he didn't sound the alarm. Because you brought me into this industry. You brought me to this record company. You brought me to these people. You brought me to this management. You brought me to this accountant. When you found out that they were not right and you decided to leave, why didn't you tell me? And then I guess it would be the fact that you wouldn't tell me because you knew I would tell everyone else. But why wouldn't you tell me? Why wouldn't you say, listen, Shani, they stealing. Listen, Shani, they not doing right. Listen, Shani, I'm leaving. You should go too. You know, instead of leaving me thinking that everything was okay. You know, that that's how I felt. You know, um, I don't point out just any one person. You know, um, I just would like to say collectively that you know, everybody played their part in it. Those who had the, those who were in the position to play the part in it, played the part in it. But again, you know, my love for Molly just made that part hurt more because I just felt like if it was vice versa, I would have done it. I would have told. I would have said yeah. something. You know, I'm like, literally, that's what they consider me like. I know that there's a lot of places that people won't invite me and there's a lot of things that people won't have me at because I'm the truth. And when I say I'm the truth, it's because it's hard to live a lie when the truth is in the room because you're not sure of what I'm going to say or what I'm going to react to. So because of that, they rather not have me there so that they can be comfortable. And um, 
I would have told. You know, if I like today, when I find out that one thing is done, I tell everyone, like, yo, listen, rights a nation, we all get paid the same thing. My check just came in the mail. Did you get your check? And they'd be like, no. And I, and I don't have a problem with telling how much it is. You know that old, don't tell people how much you got and don't tell people what it is that you... I tell it in a minute. Like, listen, this is what my check was. Did you get yours? Because I'm that type of person. You know, I, I feel like we all work hard. We all put, you know, this is our creativity. This is our talent. And we're supposed to be compensated for it. And I believe that it's supposed to be fair. But in the entertainment industry, um, it's not always fair. And, you know, some people can be paid to not tell you that it's not fair.